Today, we are going to learn how to install Laravel Nova. First, we need to go to nova.laravel.com slash releases. For this package, you will need a license. And it does cost money, unfortunately. But it's a super, super cool package. I love Nova. So once you do have your license, you can download it. And it's going to download a zip file. I'm going to rename it to nova.zip. Okay, so I have a default Laravel application set up. I am using Laravel Homestead with the Laravel installer, uh, just like every other tutorial I do. We do have a video on that. So when you go to the Laravel installation guide, it will have all these requirements. If you want to follow my Homestead and Laravel installer video, you will automatically have all of those via Laravel Homestead's virtual vagrant server. Okay, now let's move that zipped file into our local uh, Laravel app. I'm gonna open my finder and then I am going to um, unzip the file. So I'll show all in finder and I'll go to Nova zip and then I'm just going to unzip it using the Mac archive utility. We're gonna go back to PHP storm and I'm gonna rename this directory. It's gonna have all this stuff in it but I wanna rename this to Laravel Nova. And it, ow, indexing crap. Um, I'll just move it then within my terminal. You can't refactor while PHP Storm is indexing. So I'll just rename it and call it Nova. The next step is we need to copy this repositories composer configuration. And then we're going to go to composer and I already have an empty repositories array. And then we're going to just replace that whole thing with what we copied from the Nova installation guide. After that, we need to actually require the Laravel Nova Composer dependency. This is not a dev dependency. This is a, a required production dependency. So we're going to add a comma, and then we're going to paste that in. Next, I'm going to switch over to my Vagrant machine and run Composer update. Now, while that's updating, let's go back to the documentation and see what we need to do next. It looks like once Composer updates, we have to run two commands. The first is going to be PHP Artisan Nova install. And then the next command is actually going to be PHP Artisan migrate. Now the install, it will just install the Nova assets, the service provider, the user resource. Migrate will migrate our users table along with all of the Nova tables. After running that command, we need to verify that the Nova service provider exists. So to do that, we're just going to go to App Providers and the Nova Service Providers there. We properly published and installed Laravel Nova. But if we go back to our page, we still don't see Nova. So what's going on? Well, the next step, and I kind of don't like the order of the steps in the documentation, but the next step says, hey, we have a Nova resource that references our user model. So that's properly there. So what's that mean? Well, not much for the installation, honestly. What we really want to do is we want to go to our config, and within our config, you'll see a nova.php file, which was also published during install. And we'll have all these options, just like a normal config file. Most of them reference env. You'll see the app URL. And then finally, you'll see the path, and that points to slash nova. That is where we need to go to actually access the nova dashboard. If we go here on the Nova endpoint, you'll see we have a login page, but we don't have a user yet. So what do we need to do to create a user? Well, let's pull up our terminal. I'm gonna clear it out. And let's see what Nova artisan commands we have access to. Well, we have a lot, but the one we're looking for, the specific command we want is the Nova colon user artisan command. Now what we're going to do is we're simply going to say PHP Artisan Nova user. This is just going to be a little terminal script and it's going to ask us for a name. Now I'm going to just say Johnny. And the email address I'm going to say Johnny at cleancode.studio. And then finally put a password in, any password, make it up. Then after that is set up we now have a Nova user. So if we close that out and we go back we can use that information, johnny at cleancode.studio, and then whatever your password was. Once we log in, 
you're going to see the Nova dashboard. We have properly installed Laravel Nova. So that's all I got on installing Laravel Nova. And in future videos, we will go over some of the extremely cool features that Nova offers. Thanks, guys. Simple.